Very early, um, by the age of 11, I already knew, like, you know, I don't, I can't be late. If I'm late, I'm gonna, like, pay off and do, like, 50 more push-ups. Before Eunice, Benjima would make global news headlines for getting into a fight at an L.A. bar with Instagram model Summer Rae's boyfriend. Before Eunice would clock in over a million Instagram followers and would model for brands including Dolce & Gabbana, Marcelo Berlon, Misani, Hermes, Javinci, and more. Guys, I'm not into fashion. I hope I said those properly. What's up, bro? You gonna propose to Courtney? Before Eunice would date Courtney Kardashian for 18 months, despite the age gap of her being 14 years his senior. So good. Eunice Benjima, now before I get into this video, we went all over the internet looking for the proper pronunciation of his name. Seems like a lot of people are confused. A lot of people calling him Jonas. Anyway, I hope we're getting this correctly. And he has been making a name for himself in Hollywood. Not only did he hit it and quit it with a Kardashian, he's also thrown some fisticuffs alongside his pals Drake and Odell Beckham Jr. Now the man he attacked is Bennett Sipes, and uh, you may not know who he is, but you certainly know who his rumored girlfriend is, Summer Rae. Now poor Bennett, he got laid into pretty hard. And Eunice, well, he isn't the guy you want to get into a fight with. The guy has been boxing ever since he was 11, so despite him being a model, don't call him a fancy pants. The guy can straight up knock you the f out. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Eunice Benjima, priority of fame. Here for you, of course, up before they are famous. Now, we have made other videos on Summer Rae for one, and we've done a whole bunch of the Kardashians, except Courtney is the one we skipped over. Not Eunice, though. He definitely got her done. As always, be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. I'll see you after the intro. Eunice Benjima was born in Algeria on May 5th, 1993. Now, based off a few tweets where he expresses his love for all things Ramadan, the food, the gatherings, and most importantly, the true meaning behind the holy month, well, it leaves me pretty confident in making the assumption that he is in fact Muslim. There was also this video where he's apparently singing in Arabic. He began training as a boxer at the early age of 11 with his uncle, who I believe is still his trainer to this day. Now, Eunice, his parents, they separated when he was young, and from there, he was raised primarily for his mother for a short time, and she kept him disciplined. That and his dedication to boxing will help him become the man he is today. He stated, Boxing teaches you about respect, hard work, focus on what you eat, how many hours you sleep. And he learned very early on of the consequences of not meeting the expectations demanded of a genuine competitor. I try to keep it low-key. I have the same friends since I'm young. I don't really like to mix myself. I don't go out, never go out. Um... Over on his Instagram account, he posted a pic stating, I look like Sage, but I was the most brawler kid at school. N-word, I grew up. Nostalgia. Now, I'm not sure if he might want to go back and drop the N-word out of his caption. I don't know, Jonas. I'm just looking out for you. Uh, I just don't want to see you go all Laura Lee on us. You know what I mean? Now, his parents, they relocated to different places. His mother moved to Paris and his father moved to New York. There, he opened a traditional Algerian restaurant. And when Yunus got a little bit older, well, he decided to join his father in America and he worked with him at the restaurant. He would also visit his mother over the summer months in Paris. And this is why the guy, well, he can speak English, French, and Arabic. Not bad. In 2011, while living in New York and working at his father's restaurant, well, Eunice was approached by a talent scout who offered him an interview with a modeling agency. Now, Eunice was still holding on to his dream of becoming a boxer, so he ignored this offer initially. But then after a few losses and boxing competitions, well, he decided to try his luck with modeling. Standing at six foot two and in peak physical condition, well, he quickly signed a professional contract with Next Model Management. And then he appeared in several print campaigns over the next two years. In 2013, he was one of the models walking the catwalk for Javinci for their spring summer campaign. And when he found out that he had landed this booking almost immediately after attending a casting, well, he was in disbelief. This modeling was too easy. He was in. Now rubbing shoulders with models and booking some serious high-end shoots, well, he found himself in a relationship with British model Jordan Dunn. He met her at the Met Gal in New York in 2015. And if you're not sure who Jordan is, well, let me show you. Clearly, Jordan likes her French rap. Now, the relationship wouldn't last long because Eunice, 
He was about to meet up with the Kardashians while they were attending Paris Fashion Week in 2016. Now this was the time when Kim, well she was reportedly robbed at gunpoint of millions of dollars in jewelry. Eunice being a man about town, well he was able to take care of the distraught Kardashians and he clearly hit it off with Courtney. From there, the two entered into an 18 month long relationship and this was full of tabloid making events. The pair celebrated Eunice's 24th birthday together while Courtney, a mother of three, well she was celebrating being newly separated and hot at 38. They traveled the world together, there was Egypt, the Bahamas, Mexico, Italy and they spent Christmas together. Then in July of 2018, well Courtney took to Instagram and decided to post a photo in a floral print bikini and fans noticed that Yusuf, he wasn't too impressed. He posted a comment underneath stating that's what you need to show to get likes before he deleted it. But it was already out there and everyone was reporting on it. And apparently it was that Belfie shot that made things fall apart. I'm sure there was more to it, but that's the last thing the world saw. Now in the meantime, Eunice, he's already made a massive name for himself through the relationship. And while piecing this video together, I noticed that his old Instagram photos, they used to only get a few hundred likes. But now, well, you know, he's a bonafide star. He's also made for himself some famous friends. Uh, just, just definitely not the guy who's dating Summer Rae. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCray. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. Be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. You guys requested this one. Uh, we've got a whole slew of people to do. So hit me up on Instagram or Twitter with your requests and we'll get her done. And Eunice, if you're watching this, I hope I got your name right. Also, I'm the fighting Irish, but I'm not really. That was good, right? Makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah, I get it. You don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. No, no. <laughs> Poor Bennett. Although, yeah, I heard he deserved it.